In this video, I'm gonna show you how to reduce latency of your system for having the lowest input delay and better performance out of your overall system in any game. This guide will help you to getting the best performance out of your any Windows system. So make sure to follow this whole guide and with wasting any time, let's dive straight into our this video. So guys, in the very first step, you need to download latency pack on your PC. Link will be down in the description. Simply go there and download this pack on your PC because in this pack we have a couple of files like interrupt affinity msi utility and latency monitor.exe file for monitoring the latency of our system now you need to simply drag all these files here on your desktop and now i'm going to show you and explain you how to use this application professionally for having the lowest latency out of your pc so guys in the very first step you need to install latency monitor on your pc for monitoring the latency of your system simply double tap on this exe file hit yes hit next check mark on i accept the agreement click next next check mark on create a desktop shortcut and click next and install this tool on your pc now here you will go at this kind of interface of the latency monitor now you simply go for the star icon and click on it and you will start monitoring the latency of your pc now here in the main tab you will find out here the real time latency of all the processes of your system now inside here in the cpu tab you will find that all the cpu cores and thread of your cpu of your processor in the driver tab you will find out all the driver which is running on your pc and that is also causing the high latency of your system now we are going to optimize how to guys do it now the very first step go for this path option and there you need to scroll down and there you will find out highest measured interrupt to persist latency we need to reduce this value for getting the lower latency out of our pc out of our system so now i'm going to show you how to do it simply guys simply click on this minimize button and keep this application running in your background now the very first step here you will find out msi utility v 3 zip file so double tap here you need to go for this exe file and drag it here on your desktop and make sure to run this application as administrator and here you will go to this kind of interface of the msi mod utility now in the very first step you need to find out here your gpu model because we are going to use our gpu for reducing the latency so guys you need to go for your gpu model whatever you are using check mark on this msi box and go for interrupt priority and set it on high after that go for your integrated gpu that is your intel ultra hd graphics 770 go for msi check mark here now you need to go for interrupt priority and set it on high after that hit apply and close out this msi window now in the next step here we got our interrupt affinity policy tool that will help us to getting the lowest possible latency out of our pc so double tap on this active file and drag all these active files on your desktop now you need to go for the second file that is the interrupt policy x64 bit.exe file so right click here and also make sure to run this as administrator now hit yes and here you will go to this kind of the interface of the interrupt affinity policy tool now you need to simply press the first letter of your gpu if you are using the amd so press a from your keyboard if you are using the nvidia so press n from your keyboard you will get this kind of the error but guys it is fake one you don't need to worry about anything simply hit ok now here is my gpu that is the nvidia geforce rtx 3070 now you need to go for the set mask option and here you will find that all the cpu cores and thread and guys here i got this is my cpu core now this is my cpu thread this is my cpu core this is my cpu thread this is my cpu core and this is my cpu thread and again this is my cpu core and so on now here is the technical point you don't simply select out here the cpu core 6 but if you have a low end pc and you have only four cores on your pc from the very first step you need to enable the hyper threading on your pc from your motherboard bios settings so for checking if it is enabled on your pc or not simply right click here on your windows taskbar and open up task manager now you need to go for this performance tab and there you will find out this virtualization I have enabled it on my PC from the BIOS settings of my system. So you also need to enable the hyper threading on your PC. After that, now close out task manager and I'll simply select out here your CPU 6. And now guys, let's test the settings. After that, you need to click on this OK button. Hit OK again and this will ask you for restarting your PC. Therefore, all the changes take effect so hit yes and this will reset your gpu so guys this will restart your gpu not your pc your screen will go black for a few seconds and after that here you will find that this kind of notification device successfully restarted now click on this ok button 
hit ok again click on the done button and close out this application now again you need to open up a latency monitor option and now you need to also restart this application simply click on the stop monitor option this will stop it now again click on the start button and this will start it on your pc now check it out here the latency like what we are getting right now and what we are getting before before it was around 350 but, but now it is just 178 that means now we are getting the very low latency out of our system and also here you can check it out here the real time stairs like what we are getting before and what we are getting right now so guys that's it for this video i hope you love it please make sure to drop a like on this video subscribe to my channel and see you again in the next video